Hi, this is Denise with Nightingale Virtual Respiratory Care. I'm a respiratory therapist and certified asthma educator, and we're here on day five of a day in the life of someone with COPD. Let's talk about evenings and some practical tips. Dinner may need to be eaten early as people with COPD are tired by the end of the day just from breathing. The evening is the time to take their last respiratory treatment and they may choose to do some calming activities like watching TV, reading, listening to music, or gentle stretches as these activities signal to the brain that the day is winding down and it's almost time to sleep. Good night. To wrap up our series on COPD for families and friends, Remember that people with COPD may be unable to complete daily tasks that they used to do with ease. To the outside world, this may look like laziness, when in actuality, their body is working harder to get and use the oxygen it needs, and this may cause extreme fatigue. Some practical tips. Maybe ask your person with COPD, what's the best time of day to do activities and plan around that? Avoid visiting when you or your household members are ill. Remember, even a common cold can cause a severe flare up of their COPD. Be understanding of the challenges the person with COPD lives with every day. Remember, the person with COPD may have mood changes depending on the circumstances of the day. It can be isolating and depressing as well as anxiety provoking for people who can't breathe. Their life now revolves around their breathing, which is something we never think about until we can't do it. As the American Lung Association says, when you can't breathe, nothing else matters. We hope you found this series, A Day in the Life of Someone with COPD, helpful. Let us know if there are other topics you think would be useful. Bye for now.